I want you, I want you, uh, boys and girls, as youngsters that's listening to me. I want you to go and do some research of your own. You know, you you getting lazy. When you go to school, you're in the school where the, all the books is at. You're just worried about uh, fratting it up. You know, you know that boule stuff. You know, partying. You know, getting a good grade. I'm going to tell you another thing I want y'all to do. Stop protesting. That's old strategy. That's an old methodology. Nonviolent protesting is old. Because in the Constitution, you have a right to actually protest. And a right for demonstrations. <clears throat> and, but... The police don't want you to demonstrate because the Constitution, they don't feel like y'all are part of it. And y'all feel like just because they let y'all vote, you know, I read about how our ancestors, you know, uh, had to, uh, what changes they, they went through just to vote. You know, they had to pay some time. And they've been messing with the, with the, the election uh, booths. Ever since that, way back in them days, they've been messing around. You know, you got to start studying, y'all youngsters. It's right there in the books, in the libraries. Y'all don't go to the libraries, but you got to go to the libraries. You know, I got my library card. And you got to go there and, and study what you need to know. And y'all just think if y'all gonna protest and stuff, y'all, I see some young, very young ones out there protesting, getting jacked up by the police and manhandled by the police. And that strategy is out. Y'all need to meet among yourselves. Make sure ain't no agents. Screen, you, you gotta start screening. Screening people out, man. Because when you protest, they gonna send some agents in on you, looking like you, looking black. You know, they paid, you know, see, that's 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 what's wrong. You remember uh, Jesus, story of Jesus? See, that's what that's telling you. When you hear about Judas and how he sold Jesus out, that's the kind of knowledge and wisdom that's in the Bible. But they twist it all up and make everything seem spooky and, spooky and holy and mystical and stuff like that because y'all don't know how to read. I had a teacher that, an English teacher named Candy uh, Kumasi that wrote a book I held up called Down the Nile. And in his class, he definitely taught us how to read and comprehend, look up the author and everything, because the author going to have some of himself into the book, some kind of way he's going to put himself in there. And you find out the history of the author and find out, you know, that's how you do your research. I recommend, uh, I want all y'all to look up brother Dr. Wesley Muhammad. That brother is, is uh, vital to the black world. We ain't no community. We're a black world, a black universe. He's vital to that. You know, all the brothers I, I speak on, I give honors to, some of they're younger than me, man, but you know, that's their expertise, you know. And the brother, he's telling you right. Thorough. He's giving you a thorough knowledge of self. His brother, Dr. Wesley Mohammed. And we got Taza Doc. He's down with that law. And we got Born Mastermind Allah. He's down with the science. You know. And... I like uh, Phil. Phil, you know he he, uh, Doctor Phil is good with metaphysics. You know, but I don't know some of the things he say. You know, I don't, I don't agree with, but metaphysics and brother Aline Bay. Brother Aline Bay is, is down with the metaphysics. But getting back to uh, Alex Jones. Alex Jones, if you listen to him talk, you know, 
he he got some clan in him. He got some Ku Klux Klan in him. He's slick though. He be high, man. That guy be high for something. He ain't off of that off of them them health health uh, foods that he be taking, health pills and all that. That that guy's high for something else, you know. And he knows how to. I know I notice when when he's when he's uh, giving. Uh, when he's on the show giving certain uh, uh, illustrations and stuff, he exposes himself because he over talks. You know, he talks too much. You know, he ain't down with what he's trying to do with me. Now, he could fool some of y'all, uh, uh, others, you know, who thinks he's down for black people. He ain't not down for black. He might have, have a few black people on his show. They all got that. NBC, you know, but these is Boule brothers, man. They gatekeepers, they gatekeepers for the uh, Boule. I mean, we call them Boule. Steve Coakley, he exposed this. Steve Coakley, look up some of his. Uh, Steve Coakley, you know, look up some of his uh, videos or lectures or whatever. And he's no longer with us. A lot of people think they knocked him off, but. You never know, you know. Uh, a lot of people think they knocked Brother Khalid off and tried to blame it on the Nation of Islam. You never know. See, they got sending people like yourself, looking like you, talking black power, you know, and all like that. But they're the, they're the very ones that's working for the man. They get paid big bucks that. Look, they got... In Detroit, they went at one time they were recruiting people for the FBI and the federal government. They was recruiting blacks, targeting blacks for that, you know. And a lot of them joined up. A lot of them got with them, you know. So, you know, uh, you young ones, y'all gonna have to, you know, don't be so passionate about. You know what you're doing, especially in them colleges. Don't try to repeat what the brothers did in the '60s with, with Stokely Carmichael and H. Black, H. Rap Brown, and all them. They they targeted them brothers, you know, and they they end up uh, incarcerating some of them. Some of them they end up assassinating, but they could assassinate you through diseases, through sound waves. They got various ways of knocking you off. They poison you. You go to eat at a restaurant all the time and find out what you eat and poison it. When you go to the library, they're going to be following you, especially you, you outspoken uh, brothers and sisters. You go to the library to be doing research on black, on uh, this system or whatever. They see what kind of books you sent off for, they see what kind of books you read, the FBI, and they follow you everywhere to see your habits. See if you're getting high. You know, look at that spook who sat by the door. You know, how they was following that brother, the spook who sat by the door. Look at that movie. And that movie, also, I still recommend y'all youngsters to see. And I'm going to get back on you elders. You know. You got to talk to these young ones, man. When you see, you know, instead of, you know, and instead of talking to, uh, getting on each other behind us, we got to get off of that now. Either, and I'm going to say this to, about Brother Sinetta. He, Sinetta, you ever heard this, this, this terminology? Cause you, I'm gonna say some profanity. Either shit or get up off the pot. You ever heard that before? Yeah. So that's all I got to say about that. And all the rest of y'all, uh, brothers, you know, I'm I'm still gonna tune in to your your show, man, to see to see if you uh, 
take heed, you know, you can do a transition, gradual transition, ain't nobody got to notice the change. But you're going to have to change your game, man. And any other brothers, Boule brothers out there. See, in the Bible it say that the righteous going to win in the end. They got all this other stuff. It's, it is a war of Armageddon. But don't fear it. When, when Mr. Farrakhan say you got to fear Allah, that's right. Because we're going, at, we're going through a sifting process now. A cleansing process. A purging process. You know. We're going through the fire. It's like a purifier. You know. And if you don't wake up. You go, you're just going to be fueled for the fire. You know. So. You know. It's up to. It's on us olders elders to enlighten the young ones man it's on us our family man you know it, and these old these old cats man y'all y'all in them churches man chasing chasing them skirts man you know that's the, that's the only thing on y'all mind and chasing that dollar because y'all know the women like the dollar she like a man that look prosperous you know she wants you to look like the like the Caucasian, though. You know, she th think the Caucasian is the alpha ma alpha male. You know, but she wants you to get up there and close to him so she can get up there close to him. Or else they wouldn't teach their children white supremacy. They're just, you know, after all this stuff we go through, you think you can sit. In y'all comfortable positions, and you know, like especially y'all judges, black judges, black lawyers. I'm with, I'm down with Taza Doc on that. You can't be black and working in that kind of joint. You're actually working for the for the enemy. See, we talking about systems. A world is an idea. Out of an idea came the world and out of the white man's head came the idea of America and he been mistreating all people of all different types of uh, him himself he been dogging them around for years and it's about to come to an end you know because this world was built off of quicksand this world was built off of quicksand a weak foundation. It wasn't built on truth. And you know, if it wasn't built on truth, man, it was built on lies and falsehood, that ain't gonna stay around long. So, I just wanted to uh, tell y'all about Alex Jones and Hillary Quint uh, Clinton. Y'all should have been knew about her. So, vote locally. Because you can do something about that. You can control that. You know, your judges and common counsel. But it ain't going to do you no good to vote anyway. Only thing they're going to do is uh, they want to see how you thinking. If you're a boule or not. Can they use you? Can they turn you out to control your people? You know, that's all it is. It's a census report, really. Black Light Out.